I created this program with a lot of kind of my own personal sentiment in mind and kind of my own personal experiences with arts education. We got in this project a chance to kind of interrogate or figure out what they were being taught about the city. I applied for it basically just because I didn't know what I was going to do after college. It was good to meet people who actually wanted to commit themselves to having a career in the arts. I proposed a microforest that would become an extension of the art classroom there and facilitate other ways of doing and learning. In September 2020, Super Projects approached me about devising a project in Blakestown Community School. So why a microforest? Microforest was a way of kind of maximizing biodiversity on a site that was otherwise uh, a generic kind of green lawn that would just get mowed several, several times a year. Hey! My favorite moments are always when you have like 12 students in the microforest and there's a silence. There's a silence because the students are immersed in their own kind of learning process, which is typically haptic and hands-on. Maybe they're working with a craft knife, or maybe they're working with a shave horse, or maybe they're working, drawing something with charcoal that we produced in the microforest, or working with natural dyes. These, these kind of fleeting moments, they're, they're, they're when I think the microforest is really doing its best work. The trees are now four years old, four or five years old, and we're very pleased to report that the microforest as a habitat is now self-sustaining, which is to say it creates enough canopy and enough leaf fall to kind of self-regulate. So it's its own very special little habitat with a life of its own. And the challenge now going forward is how we might like evaluate those last few years that we've had in the microforest, but also kind of sustain meaningful human interaction with that space. they're interested in video games and how contemporary video game culture seems to mirror or copy lots of 70s, 80s and 90s installation art and the way it's set up or the way it was designed and presented at that time seems to be kind of a thematic in their video games that they play now. They were showing me how this game Minecraft works and you can, you can use it as this building tool, like virtual building tool, similar to what we would be used to which is SketchUp. Uh, like drawing, digital drawing program. And we're working on an exhibition for the lab in 2024 with the students. We've got these nine people and we'll work with them. It's like, okay, guys, we've got this, this space to work with and we can do whatever we want. So the title of the show comes from Characters in movies who at particular moments might say something like, let's get the hell out of here. When the situation becomes unbearable or things have gone too far or something isn't right, something isn't fitting. I had few kind of plans here and there, but I didn't really have a direction. So I thought that this would be a great way to meet people, um, get a better insight onto the art world after college. Going to the galleries and meeting the curators. It's like putting a face to the institutions that we all know. Um, it was really good, really friendly, really eye-opening as well. And like knowing what's going on, signing up to all the mailing lists. Like you realise, oh, these people are so personable and they really actually do care about artists. There's not some weird, like, agenda in the background. Like, everybody just likes what they do and it's just really inviting. 
So this exhibition, it's a nice group show from everybody in the program. It's a nice way to tie everything up. Um, I think we're all friends now, so it's nice to, to put stuff together and see all of our work in the same space. So that, was, that made making the exhibition very sort of simple because everyone was more than eager to sort of step up and help make the work. Everybody kind of wanted to make work that invited the viewer into it and kind of made it more accessible to the community as well. Um, so like a lot of the work is interactive, a lot of the work is very much so like stuff that you can come in and you have to look at, you have to read, you have to engage with. We are a part of The Wonder is a project in progress for my curatorial fellowship with Super Projects wherein I will develop a program of arts learning oriented towards younger audiences, specifically those in senior cycle of second level education. But I'm really, really excited about the direction of the program and, and I have so much kind of bouncing around my head at any given point, kind of things that are rooted in, in kind of pedagogical theory, but things that are also rooted in my personal politics and personal history. Um, and I feel like the project for this fellowship will sort of be the outcome of both of those things. The main thing that I learned is that, you know, it's okay to put yourself out there and just like say hello to people, um, send an email off, say thank you to people that you meet. It was just so cool to see how these galleries work, how they do the things they do. It's just like so insightful and something I wouldn't have gotten unless we went as part of Super Projects. The age gap and their interest in different aspects of pop culture maybe was one of the things that got us interested in it in the first place. Take control of the viewers, so switching from them being the viewers going into the gallery and being uncomfortable, maybe they might be able to get these people that come to visit their show and get them into this uncomfortable state a little bit, or like how can we can play with that? Projects like the Microforce are about kind of closing the distance between young people and the environment to give them a space of intersection to interface with environmental issues, but very much in a kind of hands-on way to create that kind of curiosity and empathy and uh, feeling that they might need to kind of, you know, generate the resilience and understanding uh, necessary for some of the challenges we, they're going to face in the future.